Hi everyone, uh, welcome to day one of NaNoWriMo. Uh, before we start, just a quick note about this channel. My name is Anessa. If you are new here, I am an author from Toronto, Canada. I am a hybrid author from Toronto, Canada. So I publish both as an indie and as a traditional author. Um, and I offer tips and advice on this channel for both routes. I kind of take you behind the scenes. Um, I give plotting, writing advice, um, character building advice, things like that. Anything that might help new authors or authors that just need a different perspective on uh, writing and the world of writing and what it means to be a creative entrepreneur in today's landscape of creativity and authorship. Um, so if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, then make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell notification so you don't miss any other videos. Now, if you hear some hectic things going on right here, it's because we're doing this more as like kind of a vlog style. I haven't done a vlog in a while and I figured what better way to do this um, than during the first day, day of NaNoWriMo. But that means that I am at home with all the wildness that goes with that. And that is my toddler downstairs banging around. Um, I'm sure you could hear that. So bear with me as we do this because it's going to be a very hectic day. Um, I am writing book four of Orchard Hollow and I'm wearing my mm, cookies, Harry Houdini shirt um, just for this because we are working on Orchard Hollow for NaNoWriMo. Um, Orchard Hollow is my paranormal cozy mystery series. Um, book four will be coming out next year. It is due to my publisher. Um, and so I need to get a move on. And I figured why not work on it during NaNoWriMo? So for those of you who don't know, NaNoWriMo is the month of November where authors from all over the world and writers all, all over the world get together and try to write 50,000 words in one month. It gets hectic. Um, it's a lot of work and I love it. I try to participate whenever I can when my publishing schedule allows for it. And this year it lined up absolutely perfectly, except for the fact that we are going on vacation this Sunday. So I got to catch up on some words. Now, my plan is to get some words down um, and then kind of work on them in the background too, to bank them um, so that I can use them for the week that we're gone and kind of work on it as a buffer. I do still plan to write during vacation. I know it's going to be tough, but I'm going to meet this deadline and I'm going to meet my 50,000. I am determined to win. So we are at my desk. Yay. Um, I'm all set up. So I'm ready to go. Um, now, for those of you who have heard me talk, I'm just move this over again. Uh, but for those of you who have heard me talk about my process of writing, um, generally what I do is before I start writing, I usually edit what I wrote before. Now, because we're starting from basically scratch um, for this uh, project, um, I do have some edits to do for the Gilded Queens, which is my subscription based model that I'm writing on Reen. Um, and book one is on pre-order right now. <laughs> I'll put it in the comments if you want to support it. But Guild of Ravens is coming out January 30th. It's on pre-order right now. I am so stoked for this book um, and I love the subscription model, but I do have to edit a chapter because um, that chapter has to be posted this weekend to have to go up before we leave on vacation um, so that I stay on top of dropping the subscriptions for all the paid tiers. So what we're going to do first before I start writing for NaNoWriMo, because I already went through yesterday and I made sure everything is prepped and ready to go. Um, I signed on to my NaNo. Um, let me just go through here again. So my NaNo is pretty much all ready to go. Um, I just double checked. So we're right here. I don't know if you probably can't see, but zero words, no progress. I haven't made any progress yet but I will, <laughs> I know I can do it. Um, so we are going to go ahead and edit the chapter of the Gilded Queens. First, I'm just gonna run through it, make sure it's all good to go and it's good to go uh, being published this weekend. And then we're gonna start writing. I'll catch up with you after the editing cause um, it's gonna be hectic after that.
um, editing done. Uh, super excited about that. That wasn't so bad. It didn't take me very long. Um, so that's finished. The chapter of Gilded Queens ready to go. Um, I'm going to go make myself another coffee. I've got my whoop, my little um, bean me up. Ooh the glare um yeah bean me up it's got the bean me up logo from orchard hollow this is piper's cafe but i've got my bean me up cup ready to go um i'm gonna make yet another coffee this will be my third one of the day there will be a lot of coffees in my future um and then we're gonna start writing so let's go get our caffeine in <music> coffee i am in her <laughs> bed right now i'm actually gonna write in bed a little bit i find that sometimes i need just a little bit break from the desk and it's nice to be able to move around so i have my laptop my coffee is over here um, and i'm ready to get some work out it is now 11 20 so we're getting close to lunchtime um, we're also getting close to my child's bedtime so it's going to get a lot quieter which is going to be nice because um, then i can just write in peace so let's see how many words we can get done um, and then i actually have to step out for a second i'll take you guys with me but i do have an errand that i have to run so let's see what we can do before that and let's get some writing on session um i got let me see um 1220 words done um in what did we look like about 35 minutes 40 minutes that's really good um it really flowed this time i'm really happy with it um i'm writing the first chapter <laughs> so that's always really really exciting before you hit any blocks it's kind of um um, a recap in a way of what happened last time and where we left off and setting everything up. I'm reintroducing the protagonist. Um, so I don't know if you uh, read a lot of cozy mysteries, but for the most part, when you're writing a um, very long standing series in the cozy world, um, you want to make sure that every book can be read on its own, even if there is an overarching mystery. Um, and that overarching mystery is kind of where it's coming to a head in this book and in the next book, because um, I want to close it off um, in the next book and then kind of start a whole different arch for the full series. Uh, but for the most part, every mystery has to be wrapped up. Like you have to catch the killer, um, figure out who did it, you know, the who done it has to be figured out. So the beginning, if there are things like the character needs another introduction, the B characters need more introductions, if there's any um, things that happen in the last book that kind of need to be retold for anybody who's coming into the series, um, not from book one. So that's kind of what I'm doing in chapter one, two, three, um, the first three chapters, essentially, is slowly refeeding that world back into it for anybody who's new to it but in a way that's not um info dumping so it's it's really fun um i don't know if anybody has read the first um two books the third one's coming up so you obviously haven't read it i'm not going to give away any spoilers but there's a character um that kind of enters into uh piper my protagonist into her life in the um 
the book that's about to come out. <laughs> I'm trying not to give any spoilers at all. Uh, but that's where I, well, that's what I'm working on right now. And there's a lot of really funny things that are happening in chapter one because the um, Orchard Hollow is a, is a funny paranormal cozy. So there's like a lot of humor to it. But 1,220 words. I'm very proud of myself. That's very good. Um, it's a lot more than I thought I would do at this point. I'm aiming for 2,000 words today at least because usually my chapters are anywhere between um like 1600 to 3000 words and so i think like a good first chapter would be around like 2200 somewhere around there um so that's why i'm aiming i'm aiming for a full chapter i'm going to try to write a chapter a day during nano um and have most of this book done so we'll see but 2,000 words, I think is doable, 800 more to go. But right now, um, my uh, little girl just went down for her nap. And so I have to step out because we are going on vacation and I'm missing some um, skincare things. <laughs> so I want to go out and hit our local um, winners and see if they have some of the um, skincare that I use. I need an overnight mask. And also my husband broke my mom's favorite mug that she uses for her team when she's here. She's here pretty much every day watching our daughter. And it was one of those like best grandma mugs. So I want to see if I can find another one for her there too. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to take you guys with me and we'll go on a little adventure. And then when we come back, we're going to do some more writing. Yay! I have just parked. Um, it is super gloomy outside. It's kind of depressing. It's almost fully winter. I literally cannot wait to leave um, now because we're going to a beach destination. We're going to St. Martin. So it's going to be super nice to be on the beach and in the sun and being warm when this is the way like I'm wearing almost my winter jacket at this point. But I've just parked up. I'm going to go in. I'm going to see if I can get some shots in there but i feel usually really weird carrying a camera around in the store um so i'll see if i can get some b-roll in there but if i can then after i park i will show you guys exactly what i got okay see you soon shopping time get anything <laughs> um well not for myself i didn't find the actual um moisturizer for overnight the mask that i wanted um they had a couple that i thought i could maybe get but then um i read some reviews and i didn't like them um so i'm just gonna order something online and hope it gets here in time before vacation maybe amazon will have it but i did get some really cute stuff for my daughter um so she needed a new hat because as i said it's like frigid cold here so i got her this one it's got little pom-poms it's so cute um and then i also got her these little uh mittens for her tiny little hands and they've got little um i don't know if you can see here but they've got little uh palm marks on the inside so i figured she could wear that right now um we do have a giant snowsuit for her but i thought she could uh wear these right now because it is getting very very chilly like we're at like around three degrees high um celsius today which is so cold like it's almost at zero <laughs> so and she needs to bundle up a bit more uh, we have stuff for her but um, we don't have super warm mittens and super warm hats so we kind of haven't been taking very long walks but now we can and she loves going outside so it's gonna be great so now that that's out of the way um and i still don't have my overnight mask but that's okay um i'll find it i'm sure i'll find it and if not it's okay it's not the end of the world but I need to get back home because um, NaNoWriMo was taken away and I still need to get like a thousand more words in. So let's go back home. Let's warm up, get more coffees or drinks in us and let's write some more. See you there. Okay, I am back. Um, I got one more coffee and I have my laptop again and I am ready to get some more words out so let's hope for one more writing session to take me to um, the end of this chapter and that 2k kind of mark that I want to stay in um, if I don't hit it I might have to continue on tonight um, because I do have some other work that's not writing related to do that I'll chat about after 
this session, but I think I'm confident that I can polish it off. I have one more scene basically to complete. Um, so we have Piper who um, runs a cafe and she um, was just there and I kind of need to take her from the cafe to another business down the street. Um, and there's going to be some foreshadowing and some different uh, kind of revelations that I have to put in there a little bit to start hinting that all things are not as they seem and and that, um, you know, like shit's about to happen. <laughs> so I need to get her from point A to point B and get all those other details out. And then I also have to think of the hook that I'm placing at the end of this chapter to make the reader want to turn to the next chapter because I haven't um, thought about it yet. I know what's going to happen in the next chapter. I'm almost sure um, that I know. <laughs> I, I might be moving the murder up a bit, but I don't know. Um, but for now, I know what's happening in the next chapter and I just need to think of like a good little um, kind of uh, cliffhanger -y kind of hook for the end of the chapter so that the reader wants to keep going. And I always give this as an advice for pretty much every author that I work with um, when I am working with coaching clients um, or editing clients, but I always give the advice to and your chapters on a cliffhanger. So get some kind of cliffy in there because it will keep your reader wanting to move forward. And I remember when I was watching a masterclass by Earl Stein, and that was one of the things that um, he was saying was like the most important thing to him when he was writing all the Goosebumps books. And I don't know if you recall or if you read Goosebumps, but the thing about those books is that like you would literally want to turn page after page after page. And if a chapter ended, you couldn't go to sleep. So you'd be sitting there in, like in dim light or with a flashlight under your covers or whatever you did uh, when you were little because you just had to keep reading. And that's the one thing that has always stuck with me. And I think it's such fantastic advice that I always like re-give it to other authors as much as I can because it really makes... Um, for an easy page turner if you do that. So I need to work on that for this chapter. Then off we go. <laughs> That went really well. I am super excited. Um, I got the little cliffy. <laughs> I got my little hook at the end. And I am at, this is for the first day of Nano, I am at 2,205 words. Now, I'm also going to be writing the Guild of Queens, which count as words. So I don't know if I'm going to count them towards NaNoWriMo or not. I probably won't count them towards um, Orchard Hollow Project, obviously. But I think mentally, I will say that I will have more words. But 2,200 words, it's uh, more than I thought that I would get. It's around where I usually am comfortable sitting in for the first day. And I got the cliffy and I know where I'm going. So I'm super, super excited about that. Now, um, it is right now it is uh, quarter to three. And so I still have some more time left in the workday, but I can't keep writing. I think I might write more when my daughter goes back to sleep uh, for the evening later. But right now I actually have an editing client that I'm working with um, and a beta reader. Um, beta reading for somebody is a, I don't know if you guys know, but I beta read as a developmental editor as well on Fiverr, um, but I also have a uh, copy editing um, job that I'm doing right now for a client. Um, so I do have to concentrate for the rest of the afternoon on those two projects uh, because I need to get some, like one of them I just need to get started on, but the other one I do need to get wrapped up before we leave on vacation. So there's a lot to do. Um, and I still have formatting jobs that I need to get done this um, this week. Um, there's no cover design for this week, thank God, because I'm, I'm swamped. Uh, but the, I 
did actually it's just very kind of exciting news i won't share too much because it's irrelevant to nanowrimo which is what this is about but i'm starting a pretty big uh book coaching um job right now where i will be coaching many many authors uh one-on-one so i'll be working with a lot of different authors during their book writing process. So it's a very big kind of position. Um, I'm very excited about it. It's going to be starting soon. Um, so I need to do some more preparation for that so that when we are back and I am ready to start, that I am not kind of just jumping into it without mentally preparing for what that's going to look like because um, it's all going to be very, very different books. Um, and so there's going to be a lot of things on the go for me. And that's all going to be happening during nano month and um, during all these submission deadlines that I have uh, so it will be a very busy month for me uh, when we return which is strange because I thought it was actually going to be a slower month but I think right now it's starting to look like it might be a lot busier so for the rest of the afternoon no more writing I am at 2200 words 2205 plus more are coming on a different project but still more words will come I'm very very excited um, if you're doing NaNoWriMo, how did you do today on uh, the first day? I know I'm posting this uh, vlog later. Um, I'm not posting it on the first, but I do want to hear how you guys are doing. Tell me how you're doing this whole week. How is NaNo going for you? Um, if you're not doing it this year, are you considering it doing it next year? Um, just give me all the tea <laughs> so as always um hope you guys you enjoyed this i'm going to try to do a lot more uh vlogs like this where i take you around uh, during my day especially uh when i'm going out a lot of my day involves sitting at the computer so I, I usually think that's pretty boring but if i have more fun days or days where i'm doing illustration or anything like that um then i want to take you guys along with, with me for that so um with that out of the way i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope you enjoy more kind of content like this because i will be putting up more of it uh there will not be a video next weekend because i will be flying back <laughs> with a toddler so i will be not around to film another video and i'll be on vacation and i kind of like i said it got very busy very fast so i don't have time to actually um kind of do a last minute thing and i don't want to do a last minute video i want to be fully in these videos when i uh, film them for you guys and edit them and do all of that because i want them to be something that you enjoy watching so no video next week but after that we'll be back as always and we'll do another fun video of some sort uh probably a planner video or maybe an illustration video because i will have um, a fun little surprise for glitter for soon um it's an oracle deck that's a surprise i ruined the surprise but it's an oracle deck so maybe i'll do like a little walkthrough of the oracle deck when we're back i think that'll be really fun so hope you guys are having a great nanorimo if you're participating if you're not hope you're just having a good time writing or if you're not an author just hope you're having a good life <laughs> and uh stay magical and i will see you next week bye